Did you see the interview where um, because they were talking about Pacquiao and then they uh, con the interview I was yesterday and they asked Connor and he said, "No, my next one's gonna be a real fight." He's gonna fight mixed martial arts, from what I I can I can tell, which is great because the UFC and mixed martial arts they need him. Everybody for everything that Connor is, you know, put a division on hold. He's the biggest star this sport has ever seen, and he puts on exciting fights. And look, for a while, he fought all the time. Yeah. Short notice, last minute replacement. When the UFC called, he fought. That's why he is who he is today. And if anyone has earned a pass, it's kind of McGregor. I have no problem with uh, with uh, with how things are with him. But again. It's not my division, so uh, you wouldn't expect me to. Now, how did you uh, how did you pass on the um, the title of King of Lafayette to Dustin Poirier? I mean, just what like how did you relinquish this? You don't you he's don't just, seem like the kind of guy that would get, that gives up anything. He's just uh, he gets the he gets the spicy jerky and he just that's it. He still lives there, you know. Yeah. He still he still lives at home. Did you know you you got too far apart? You didn't know him when you were. Ever Not as there. kids, Not but I knew him right away when he started fighting. Uh, and I was like, wow, this kid's tough. And I saw when he made his debut in the WEC. So, uh, yeah, he's a good guy. I, he's tied to the city still. Yeah. I haven't been to Lafayette in a year. He lives there. You know, so, yeah, I call him the king of Lafayette. And it's a, uh, it's a title that he takes very serious. So <laughs> I appreciate him for it. You know, he's a great guy. Him and I are going to open a gym together in Lafayette. So. Oh, really? I think that'll be good. Yeah, it's gonna we're going to be gonna called do a... Dustin's uh, MMA. Uh, <laughs> see, so we have to discuss that, right? Whose name goes first yeah. and dethrone base camp. Dustin, what C are you guys Dustin charging for those? Dustin sees MMA. Hey, MMA. What are you charging for those dethrone base camp names? What do you mean? Well, like, to how much for mem when pe when people join? For me and Dustin to open a dethrone base camp in Lafayette, Louisiana, what does it cost me? For you guys, I don't know. For well, just double whatever we charge everyone else. Well, you see, that's the problem. <laughs> what do you What do you charge me right now on the record? What do you charge me for a dethrone base camp in Lafayette, Louisiana? No idea. Of course, you have an idea. <laughs> Tell me. There's no. Well, first of all, it's just base camp now, and there's a. Uh, no, I have no idea. So it's, you it's, do it's, know, like fucking tell me how much. No, you I don't charge. know because we've never, we've never, we've never had anyone else open one. So you've never. Josh Thompson had a base camp. Josh Koscheck had a base. No, camp. Thompson didn't have one. Thompson, we we built one together to open, and then we disagreed on what it would be the week before it was going to open. So we we took all the base camp signs down, and he renamed it, and we parted ways happily. Uh, what about Koshek has a base camp? Koshek had a dethroned base camp. Now it's just dethroned gym. But it, but that was because at that point, dethroned base camp only existed in the warehouse at dethroned. And then once we started opening uh, the gyms. Then we said the same thing. Hey, you gotta if you're gonna if you're gonna have a base camp, it's gotta be a base camp. And he's like, I don't want it to be a base camp. I want it to be what I have. So he had to have it be dethroned. We're very hard to work with. It seemed pretty easy. You guys just fucking go. Okay, sure, do whatever you want. Fucking out. That's how it was. But I've learned that 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 doesn't doesn't work out too well in the end. So what does it cost me and Dustin to open a base camp in Lafayette, Louisiana? I don't know. Hundred grand, fifty grand. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no set policy. So we should we'll be send the Dennis. We'll send Dennis out there. <laughs> we'll pick up some bikes. Yeah. We'll figure something out. Dennis will figure out how much, you know, how much of a good time you guys show him in Lafayette. And Dennis will come back and give a thumbs up or a thumbs down if he can Shit. remember anything about Lafayette. <laughs> and then that'll be based on the price. <laughs> However many drinks Dennis has, we'll times that we'll, we'll divide that by two, and that'll be the price for the gym. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so at most it'll be a you know hundred thousand dollars gym at that point. Easily, <laughs> easily. That is so fired up right now. He's gonna go. There's one Corona left. He's gonna go grab that. I think. He's gonna go nuts in Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> I've only right, been once. Boys, well, I've been once. Uh, You've was, been once. It was nice. Yeah. yeah. It's a great time. I you might like weird. it as much as you love Mexico. You should go. You guys should come down to Mardi Gras whenever I go after my fight. I'm I, going down to Mardi Gras this year. So I went to I went to, I went for a Warriors game and I flew in the morning and I left that night and. And I had nothing to do for I had I had like an hour and a half until we had to go to the game and I uh it's like where's Bourbon Street? Over there. I was so disappointed. I thought it was gonna be like much bigger and more majestic. It was No tiny. no no it's not. It's really small. Yeah. But it's great at night though. 
Yeah, it's I was there. Fun. I saw it at like eleven o'clock in the morning, so it wasn't. Yeah, it's fun. There's a lot of people every single night. It's 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 crazy, and I cannot wait to get down there. But boys, it's been fun. Are we it's, done? I mean, are you leaving us again? We, is I gotta over? go eat dinner. I gotta get to bed. I gotta train early in the morning. But it's been fun. It has been it, fun. Yes, Glad yes. you're back. If you get extra, oh, yeah. if you get next time you get protein donuts, please sh- save us a couple. Yes, I want to try it. And guys, before we go. Fulton and Rourke. Fulton and Rourke, yes. Fulton and Rourke. We did not do that at the top of the show. So sorry, Fulton and we're Rourke. We're taking it for granted now. We're, we're so I used apologize. to smelling good that we're just we're taking it for granted. But I have been using all my products, and I am in love with every single thing. So Fulton and Rourke, thank you again. Go to FultonandRourke.com. Use the code TALKER. Get a discount on everything you buy. And say DC, Nick, and Dennis sent you. Yes. As you hit as you hit order, yell that. <laughs> <laughs> like a Put it in the memo. Put it in the special instructions we sent you. What do you think about going to uh England for a soccer game? Would you do that? Yes, I would. I would definitely do that. I think we could pull it would that be off. crazy. We could do like a we could we could do like a forty eight hour get there podcast soccer game pub home. Yes. Let's do it. We could do that. Was that that, that would be a lot that, of fun. That's not that doesn't count as too scary for you? That's not out of the question. I do that. That is one thing I may consider. Who, in his last fight, when he made his UFC featherweight debut, debut, had four knockdowns in the very first round. Sick power. Yeah. Then he goes and he does that to Ricardo Lamas on short notice. But that's hanging out there, right? How much was that he over? Weight How much was he over? I didn't. I didn't. Watch, I didn't know until the fight. I I can't remember, but he was over a little bit, and it's like, man, it's unfortunate that he can have such a performance, you know, in that kind of be like what people are are talking about it's yeah. kind of crazy right yeah well i saw you guys said afterwards that what was it the last five people that have missed weight of all one or something dude that's crazy so when did that's tim crazy. elliott was tim elliott on this card where he said he wasn't gonna fight yes or? and he said no yeah which is smart he said i'm not fighting does he get which, any money does he still get a show i mean is a uh, half his I money they may have given him some of his money but he wanted his show money because he's like well if he didn't make weight i should get my entire fight purse but yeah he didn't you know and uh, Tim Tim Elliott is a great segue because he was friends with uh, Robert Follis mm. was his coach, and uh, unfortunately, uh, you know he passed away last week or weekend. I'm not exactly sure what the day was, but the news broke on on Saturday night, late Sunday morning, um, and what an unfortunate uh, turn of events, right? Like that, yeah. a guy that was so well loved and so well liked. And so respected, uh, passes away in that manner, leaves behind the family, too. Uh, very, very unfortunate uh, news the passing of Robert Follows. Yeah, no, that's terrible. Which reminds you, you never know what you never know what people are going through on the inside. So it's it's like you, you never know what people need, right? You know, yeah. what if a conversation or what if a visit could be the thing that turns a person around when people start to deal with depression it's over like you have to find a way to take them out of this black hole yeah and it's like they are living in a life like where you don't see the lights right you don't see this like i see light i see steph curry and clay thompson i I feel like when people are living in depression they're in that room that you guys are in right now just black yeah it's hard though because you when you when you're talking to someone who's depressed you it's hard you you tend to like just talk logically like hey what are you so depressed about it's not, you know oh you'll be fine or this that and the other and it's like you don't even, know what if, they're going- even if logic makes sense they're in a place where logic doesn't make sense yes so it's you know you end up it just ends up frustrating it, it's 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 tough you know what's crazy is that i heard and i'm not i i think this is true but i heard his brother may have taken his own life a few like years ago yeah. that's crazy like that's crazy yeah that you know you two kids you lose in that fashion i mean that's yeah no, that's terrible. sad like at a level that you can't even really comprehend and he was tied to so many great fighters you know like uh things were going so well i remember when he really started making his push brian stan just raved about him and Brian Stan is 
well respected in the community for his knowledge and his commitment to his craft. And all he did was rave about uh, about Follis. And uh, he just thought he was a genius. And you just never know, man. 